What's up guys? Today we're watching episode 5 of The Last of Us. So last episode, Ellie and Joel were trying to keep it on the down low as they're like passing through this city, but that ended up not happening and you know, two people died. But the people that died, their bodies were found by this rebel group and they think that their bodies are like a lead to some kind of like these other people that they're looking for. It sounds like a big clusterfuck right now, but it it makes sense to me how I'm explaining it. But at the end of the episode, while like Joel and Ellie were just trying to nap before they go wherever they're going next, they wake up to a gun to their head basically. Well, Joel wakes up to a little kid pointing a gun at his face. And I need to know what's gonna happen next because why does a kid have a gun? You know, we're just gonna see. So I guess let's get into the episode. I was about to say this might be from back then, but now I'm kind of thinking not. I don't know. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of The Purge for a second, and I hate The Purge. Hanging a dude? That is so brutal to see as a kid. Watching us hang so that you could get medicine, alcohol, fucking apples. I'm so confused. So wait, is this not present? Because we just saw the little kid and his dad and they were just like putting a gun to Joel and Ellie, so this must be some kind of flashback before this. Like, before that, I mean. You're informers. Inform. Where is Henry? They ain't gonna inform you if you scare them. But then again, sometimes it does work. I don't know. He's with Edel's team. Well, that worked. Hold up. Where? He, he didn't say. I swear, I've told you everything I know. They already told you somewhat something, so... Not my seventh priority, Perry. Is that what he is to you? She's really set on getting this man. Maybe this is going between past and present because she's still looking for the other dude. And that was in the present, basically. And they are here, so this must be the past. That's the room that they found last episode. So I'm assuming that's the dude that they're looking for. Is he scared? Yeah. Well, he saw a lot. Nothing I can do about that now. Can't do anything about it. But, I mean... How is he supposed to hide the fact that he's scared? Like, I understand that maybe that's a parent's job, but also sometimes that is hard. He's actually taking dude's advice and trying to show him that he's not scared.
That's why they had the paintings or like the drawings everywhere whenever they found the place. Oh, I thought we were already going back to present time, but it's just 10 days. They have to, yeah, it's hard to find food, so you have to try and save it. And that's hard to tell a kid. So I'm guessing the other dude just isn't coming back. Because if he's been gone a whole day, what do you think he's going to be doing? He might be running somewhere. That's what I said. Wait, am I tripping or was that not the dude that was in the cell last episode that the lady killed? I can't remember. It's been a bit since I've seen the last episode. That's why he had the pain on his face in the end of the episode, trying to make him a superhero. That's sweet. I'm trying to make him feel better. That might be whenever Joel and Ellie encounter the other people. And they were following them. That would make sense. So I was right. It was that moment. So Joel Loki saw something and just never said anything. He let y'all go. You didn't go after him, he didn't go after you. What are the chances that they go to the same place to like hide out for the night? That is definitely scary and sad. But he's doing what he gotta do to like try and help him out protection. You don't have to worry about what to say. We don't want to hurt you. We want to help you. Okay. Then why hold a gun to their head? But if I lower my gun, we didn't hurt you. So you don't hurt us. Right? That's right. You didn't even have to have your guns up in the first place. Can I sit up? Yeah. Slow. So did they see them go into that building? Because I'm assuming Joel and Ellie were there first and they maybe followed? Because like why else would they go into that building unless it was just a coincidence and they ended up finding them? My name's Henry. It's my brother Sam. I'm the most wanted man in Kansas City. Although right now... Why did I just not click that together? Did they not just mention their names earlier? That's, that's the people that the lady's looking for, right? He says thank you. 
I'm guessing you don't have one, so this means a lot. I love their bonding. I'm Joel. Look, you ate. We didn't kill each other. Let's call this a win-win and move on. Man, y'all are just introducing each other. Try and get along, Joel. I came up here to get a view of the city and plan a way out. And when the sun's up, I'll show you one. So they're going to help each other get out. Okay. We've been tortured and murdered people for 20 years. Hey, you know what happens when you do that to people? The moment they get a chance, they do it right back to you. But you're not- Damn. So Fadjo did that. Is that like- Wait, that's the whole thing that's like controlling everything, right? And then that rebel group took over that city. You're wrong and wrong. Never killed anyone. And pointing an unloaded gun at you is the closest I've ever come to being violent. So y'all can help each other in a way. He helps them get out. Yeah. <laughs> is she showing him the joke book? Oh God. You can see the way we're bounded by highways. They got people posted all around the inside perimeter. If we get close, we get caught, no question. So how do we get across? Kid knows the stuff thinks that is full of infected, including Kathleen, which means that we're not going to be running into any of her people. You see, what I know is, it's empty. Shit. See, he's saying that, but now they're going to go down there and there's going to be shit. There's going to be something. The ones that seems like a bat. Wait, you, you ran into a clicker. Two of them. And you're still alive. You see? You're the right people. He's got a point. Y'all are still alive. So. They're going to help us escape. Right? I mean, y'all are helping each other because, I mean, how else did y'all plan on getting out? Y'all planned on staying in that hotel and then what? Or like apartment building and then what? That's what y'all were going to figure out next, how to get out. And now y'all have a plan. Y'all are helping each other. See? It's empty. The plan is good. Mm-hmm. And that's why he's being loud. And then something's going to show up. Who the hell was down there drawing all that shit? So this was like a school or something? Daycare? Cause there's a lot of kids shit down here. No way! I love these! I like how she's bonding with him so quickly, but then Joel is taking like a bit to warm up and understandably, but at least she's kind of there to like lighten the mood in a way. Endure, survive. Endure, survive. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> and they're learning. Well, he's teaching her sign language, I guess, in a way. I shouldn't have said what I said. I don't know your situation. All things considered seems kind of cruel. Yeah. To send a whole army after you for that. Yeah. Look at Joel, like, apologizing and being understanding. This is some progress, you know? 
He, uh, he got sick. Leukemia. I didn't know he was sick. I just thought he was deaf. And Kathleen's brother. Yeah. So, still think they should take it easy on me? Or am I the bad guy? People have fucked up shit that happened to them, so... But you get it, though. You might not be her father, but you were someone's. I tell. Ah! Ah, waited long enough. No, we're just having a good conversation. And then all he did was bring up your daughter, and then you closed off. And it's kind of sad. But it is what it is, because it takes time. Nothing could get inside of, and it didn't matter if, if there was lightning or tornadoes or gunfire. He helped her get through that shit, so he does mean a lot to her. It hurt Henry that he would want me to forgive. I know that too. He told me. It is so fucking weird how she goes from sounding so sweet to literally just switching up and be a total, like, bitch psychopath. I don't know, maybe not psychopath, but maybe heading that way. But he didn't change anything. You did. Loki, I didn't know where that was going, and I was like, say the wrong thing, and she's gonna shoot you next, bro. But, maybe not. No. But just in case someone is, you know? You gotta take precautions. Make this right, go down the street, embankment behind the last house. And we're out. So we cross the river and- See, you're saying that so cockily right now, if that's even a word. But you're saying it like that, and then something's gonna happen. Something's bound to happen. Never, ever, ever happening. And then I'm like, I'm gonna ask you a million more times, and he's like- Whoa! 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 What did I say? Who is it, though? Fuck, let's go. What are you doing? Get the fuck out of here! Oh shit. oh, shit! Why would you run like that if you were using them to get out? Like, literally, you were with them for protection and you were literally running away from protection. He has shit aim, nobody's gonna kill me. Then he's gonna kill us. Do you trust me? What if she asked you that question? You'd say no, maybe. Do we think it could possibly be the old dude from earlier in the episode that left? Maybe it's him? Or maybe, like I said earlier, it was the other guy that I caught and died. I don't know. I fucking forgot. Put the gun down. Slide it over to me. And then stay up here for another hour. So it's not that dude... Knew it. Joel had to kill him. I mean, he even gave you a chance to not do it, and you did it anyway. Anthony. Anthony, hold them where they are. We're almost there. Fuck. 
also it was someone who was with the rebel group, basically, so they're fucked. I'm sorry, Ellie, you should not waste your ammunition on a big ass vehicle. Especially when you can't really aim correctly while you're running. Look at Joel having good aim. Hell yeah, Joel. I like how he's still kind of making sure that she's okay from up there. No? That's alright, doesn't matter. Uh, oh no. Don't tell me they're gonna kill Henry and leave the kid with Ellie and Joel. He was supposed to die? He's just a fucking kid! Well, kids die, Henry. They die all the time. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he has to die now. Everything? Well, this is what happens when you fuck with fate. She got problems. Please don't shoot him right away. It ends the way it ends. He was about to die. Run, dude. Run, dude. They're not paying attention to you. Run. Run. Shoot him, Joel. No. Wait. So you know what? They were going through that town to get out, and those things wouldn't have even came out if the other people didn't show up because they were being quiet and shit. But they they did that to themselves, like the other people, not Joel and them. Did he pop out of there? Look at that thing! There's pro there's bound to be more. And that man, that thing don't seem to be going down that easy. He seems like he's thick skinned. So, run. <laughs> he just got de decapitated by that thing. even think to look in there and that's a kid <laughs> Ellie is one brave bitch for that okay cuz she literally went up to that thing and no hesitation went shank That's brutal. Other dude tried to save her and then she ended up getting killed by one of the things anyway. Like I was saying though, they went through that town quiet as fuck. They were gonna get past them to be able to get to where they were going. But getting in trouble with that with the dude and him lowering like everyone else there, they fucked it up. Which is why all them things came out and attacked him.
Look, I don't know exactly how I'm getting to Wyoming. I'm probably walking. But, you know, if you want to. Yeah. You're letting them tag along. That is so sweet. Okay, I love you, Joel. You're, you're working. Okay. He's like, forget sleep. Do I not look scared? Isn't that what her, his dad said? Isn't everyone, I mean, especially in that world? Oh, fuck. I was just about to say, too, like, why would he be answer like asking that? And I was about to say, did he get bit? But I don't have to ask. My blood is medicine. I wonder if that is actually going to help. Like, if it does, I'm going to be surprised as fuck. And I hope it does, because it's like, when they find out, what's going to happen? Like, is Joel's going to want to kill the kid, maybe, but... I promise. She say that, and next thing she know, she gonna be sleeping like she did last time whenever she said that to Joel, that she wouldn't fall asleep. Yeah, she's sleeping. Could I have to kill the kid? What the fuck? Bro, we literally just met. You were supposed to come on the trip with us. <laughs> I hate this. We meet new people just for them to die. I fucking hate this. We literally can't win with this show. 
we can never win. We got new people and what happened? As usual, they fucking died. Joel invited them to go with them too. And you know what? It seemed like they were going to have a good time too. And then you know what? They had to die because one dude got infected and then the other one had to shoot him. And then he felt bad and killed himself. <sighs> that is just so depressing. I hate that this keeps happening in this fucking show. <laughs> we need to find a new reoccurring theme here because death, death is, death is like the most reoccurring theme in the show and I guess that's the point. But it's also like we are never fucking happy. The only ones that don't die in each episode are just Joel and Ellie. New people, mmm. I hate that this keeps happening. And especially that I was a little kid and he was trying to protect the little kid and he had to shoot him and he didn't even realize it, but he did it anyway. It's just, I didn't think that it would happen so quickly. Like one minute we were fine, fine and dandy. And then next thing you know, he's infected the next morning and then all that happens. Like, how? I didn't think it would happen that quickly and it's like I guess I was hoping that Ellie's blood was gonna help because she basically like she said she was medicine or whatever like her blood was medicine but at the end of the day I guess it's not or maybe it just wasn't enough I don't know it could be a number of reasons but it's like that is definitely ass since they built connections like Joel and Dude were just starting to be like more friendly with each other. Ellie and Sam- wait was it- was his name Sam? I think his name was Sam. Ellie and Sam were vibing. They were reading comic books, showing him the dad jokes, you know? Everything was cool. And everything was great. And then now everything's not so great. Mmm, I hate this for them. I hate that it keeps happening like this for them. They need some kind of happiness. Like, they keep going through these things where it's like one moment they're like opening up a little bit and you know, maybe starting to feel a little better and then shit like this happens and they're sad again. I hate it. I'm just mad. And like, I thought that the other dude was gonna die whenever the lady started pointing the gun at him, but they got distracted with the thing. So I'm like, oh yeah, we got away with shit. Not by the end of the episode, they still died anyway. Forget this. Forget this show. I'm still gonna have to watch the rest of it, but it sucks that this keeps happening. But we have to fucking deal with it. After that, I don't know what to expect in the next episode. More death. That's what I'm expecting. Meeting new people and them dying. And am I ready for it? No, but I'm gonna have to watch it anyway. So I guess come back for episode six. <laughs>